Hi guys, welcome to Breakout Lesson 6, and today's lesson is all about constructors. So what is a constructor? Well, a constructor is a specialized method that runs when you first make an object. Here's an example. We have a circle being created, and the constructor part is right here. When you say new circle, this part is the constructor. And this is also known as a default constructor. When you have the parameter list, if it's blank and empty inside, that's known as a default constructor. So here we have a default circle, and who knows what the size is, who knows what the color is. When you make a circle, if you're using the default constructor, it's up to that code to decide what the default size is. And for that reason, that is why there are custom constructors that have parameters. So sometimes when you make an object, you can specify information in the constructor's parameters. In this case, 50 is the radius of the circle. So when it's made, it starts off with a certain um, attribute. You can have many parameters. In this case, here's a person object. Again, just made it up, but there are one, two, there are three different parameters for name, for age, and for uh, height and feet, how tall the person is. And you can also have lots of constructors that all apply to a class. So for circles, again, I just made up circle, but there's the default constructor that makes a circle of whatever size and shape is the default. There's a second constructor that has the ability to pass in uh, whatever radius you want. And then secondly, here's a constructor that allows you to pass in both a radius and a color so that the defaults are overridden by whatever you choose. So we're going to go ahead and do this exact same code and uh, get going here. All right, so here's my world. So far, the world does it creates a circle object using the default constructor. It adds Bob the circle to the center of the world, and that's why you see this here. Now, circles under set image, on purpose, I said no image. And when you do no image, you'll just see this kind of default green foot uh, foot there. So what I want to do is use my default constructor to actually draw whatever size circle should be a default circle. So here's the thing. When you say new circle, Java is running some code for you that you don't see. So here's the code that Java runs inside the circle class. So a circle, for me, it keeps track of two things. It knows its radius and it knows its own color. Now, here's the code Java's running. Public circle, no parameters, and then inside, we're gonna say, do nothing at all. So this is the exact code that Java does for you if you don't specify any constructors at all. So if you have no constructors at all, Java will do literally this code for you, nothing. If you want to change the behavior so that when you make a default circle, it does something different, you need to override this method. That takes us to the syntax. So the syntax to make a constructor is exactly like making a method or a function, except for two things. One, the name has to match the name of your class. So in this case, circle matches my class name. Exactly, spelling and everything. Secondly, constructors do not have a return type. So notice I didn't say like public void, I didn't say public integer, I just said public circle. So a constructor has the same name as the class and it has no return type whatsoever. All right, once you've got that done, you have a constructor. So now you can make it do default things. What I'm gonna do is give my radius a default value, give my color a default value, and I know I could have done it here. I could have said equals 10, whatever right here, but the point of constructors is you can put that code in a special spot. So here I'll say radius equals 10. I'll also initialize color to be, let's say it's green by defaults. And there you go. You'll see later why I'm doing this here instead of up here. So now let's go compile our code and see if it runs. All right, uh, cool. So, so far I have a circle that still has no image but the circle does have a radius of 10 and it has green color. Now here's how to get Java to, or Greenfoot to draw on top of this image. So let's go to the Greenfoot class documentation, then go to the Greenfoot image class. 
and Greenfoot Image is a class that allows you not only to make an image, but also to draw on it. So check it out. You can draw ovals, you can draw polygons. There's lots of methods that let you draw on top of the image, which is great. Also, look at the constructors. There are four different constructors here, so which means there's four different ways to make a Greenfoot image. And so the one I'm going to choose is I'm going to choose this constructor that allows me to pass in a width and height. So let me copy that over. All right, let's go to our circle code. So inside the code, once I've initialized my attributes, let me go ahead and make a Greenfoot image. So Greenfoot image, image equals new Greenfoot image. And I'm going to use the constructor that I just had. Now, let's think about what the width and height should be. If the radius is going to be 10, here's what we know. Here's our ball. And let's say the radius is 10. Well, the width of the image should be twice as wide because to surround the ball, you'll need a radius on each side. So our width is going to be twice the radius, so two times radius. And since it's a circle, the height will be the same thing, so twice the radius. All right, cool. Now that we've made an image, um, at least we've made a frame for the image, let's go ahead and set the drawing color. So inside the Greenfoot image class, there's a function down here called set color, and it sets the drawing color of the pen. So I'm going to use set color, and we'll set this to um, the color that we chose up here. And remember, this color was initialized to green. So when I say color here, it's going to use color.green. And now that you have a color being initialized, we're going to draw an oval. So I'm going to go ahead and use the fill oval method. It is right here. And it will draw uh, either a circle or an ellipse based on your width and height. So here's an explanation of the parameters. When you say x and y, what this means is, let's say this is the green foot image right here. x and y specifies the upper left corner where to draw the oval. So I'm going to have the upper left corner be 0, 0, because it's going to be the very corner of my image. When you say width and height, this is the bounding box of the, of the oval. So I'm going to specify 20 and 20, which is like twice the radius, because then the bounding box for the oval will match the same as the image's bounding box. And we'll get a full-sized oval that's basically radius of 10 and a diameter of 20. So let's go do that. All right, so fill oval. I want 0, 0 to be the upper left corner of my oval, and I want 2 times radius to be the uh, width and height of the oval. It's really the major minor radii of the uh, ellipse, if you know that. All right, and then finally, now that I've made an image and I've drawn on top of it, I need to set our actor's image to what we just made. So this will update the actor's image to the thing we just made. And now, the default constructor for a circle will actually do something interesting instead of nothing. It'll update the radius and color, and we'll use that information to make a picture um, for the circle. So there you go. There's our default code that draws its own shape, which is pretty awesome. Now let's make this more powerful. Let's add a second constructor that accepts multiple parameters. Actually, one more parameter. So let's accept an integer parameter, call it r, and now set radius to r. So whenever you have a constructor that has parameters, usually these things will initialize the attributes, your class variables. So in our case, radius is updated to whatever the person wants. Then we just go ahead and use that, and the rest of the code stays the same. So now I've got this ability. So inside world, I can also say, hey, we've got this circle here, and now I've also got a second circle. We'll call this circle, we have Bob, we'll do Sue. And so circle Sue will pass in a radius of 50, and we'll move her up a little bit so that she's not directly on top of Bob, the circle. So here's Bob down here, and Sue has a radius of 50. Awesome. Back to circle, let's make a third constructor that has even more parameters. So here's another constructor. 
This time we'll accept a radius and a color. So color C will update radius to this and we'll update color to whatever the person passes in. So this will update our attributes and then we'll use those attributes to draw a custom picture. So here's a constructor with two different parameters and they all exist. So now we have the ability to make a circle the default way to pass in a certain radius or to pass in a radius and some other color like color.blue or yellow or whatever you want. So let's go ahead and run this and awesome. So there is Sue the yellow circle with a custom radius. So the point of constructors really is to have the ability to initialize objects to a default state that you can specify when you make them. All right, so why constructors? A, it's required to make an object. You have to say new and then constructor. So you have no choice, you have to use them. B, constructors allow you to initialize an object to have a different state based on what you pass in. And C, constructors let you have setup code that runs immediately when the object is made. And in our case, for a circle, let me go back to circle real quick. For circles, our setup code was code. So we updated the attributes, cool. Then we ran special code that um, made the image of our circle. So you can put as much code as you want in here. If you want to type a special message to the person and say system.out.println welcome to my circle program. Then this will run when you first create a circle. So check this out. If I use that constructor back here and just, I can't pass in a color because I didn't do it there. In this constructor, if I run that one, you get the following. Ding. So it popped up and said, hey, welcome to my circle program. That was a one-time thing that when you make the object, it runs this code one time upon object creation. So that's all about constructors. Have a great day and I'll see you later.